This conference will now be recorded. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. 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 Allahumma salli ala 
hazar imamaya hayyul qayyumaya aliyul lazimaya sahibu zamanaya hazar imamaya hayyul qayyumaya aliyul lazimaya sahibu zamanaya hazar imamaya hayyul qayyumaya aliyul lazimaya sahibu zamanaya hazar ima shukran lila walhamdulillah shukran lila walhamdulillah yali madad sir yali madad yali madad bahut khoob bahut khoob bahut nawazish shukriya thank you everyone for joining and welcome to this morning session inshallah we will continue on our series of lecture on ilm wa amal the knowledge and the practice this will be our session number 11 on this series inshallah with your help with your prayers with the imam's mercy and guidance we will continue on this series bismillahir rahmanir rahim nur maulana shah karim ul saini hazri imam ya maulai mehrban madad farma madad farma ya maulai mehrban madad farma ya maulai mehrban madad farma madad farma ya rehman ya rahim 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 ya mola mehrban taufeeq taid himmat wa yari mola taufeeq taid himmat wa yari mola ya mola mehrban madad farma mola ya mola hamare kareeb aaja mola apna das mubarak hum gareebon par rakh mola aur kareeb aaja mola aur kareeb aaja mola apne noor se hamari hidayat farma mola taaki tere hi noor ki roshni mein mola hum aage badh sake mola hum is ilm ko सुन कर समझ कर सके मौला और इस नूर की रोशनी में मौला हम अपने तरीके को अच्छी तरह से निभा सके मौला या मौलाए मेहरबान मदद फरमा मदद फरमा या मौलाए मेहरबान मदद फरमा मदद फरमा वन सगेन yali mazad to all the friends our today's topic will be jamaat khana niyaz abe shafa and you can see we have divided the subject in six different points niyaz What does niyaz mean? आज का हमारा जो लेसन होगा वो नियाज पर होगा और इसको हमने छ नुकात के अंदर तकसीम किया है सबसे पहले जब हम नियाज कहते हैं तो नियाज का क्या मतलब है नियाज blessing niyaz barkat
जब हम आबे शफा कहते हैं वट डज आबे शफा मीन्स आप पानी को कहते हैं आबे शफा वो पानी जो हमें शिफा इनायत करे आबे शफा शिफायत अता करने वाला पानी द वॉटर विच विल क्योर अस न्याज द ब्लेसिंग आब शफा द वॉटर विच विल क्योर अस द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वुड बी वॉट काइंड ऑफ ब्लेसिंग एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्योर If we say Abe Shafa means the water of purification, then that is also a well and very good understanding. So now we have Niyaz, the Barakat, the blessing, Abe Shafa, the water of purification that will cure us. of the disease which disease and which blessing is it a physical only the purification of our body or is it something more than that something more than that अगर हम कहें कि न्याज और आब शफा का मतलब है बरकत और तहारत हमारी बीमारियों को दूर करने वाला पानी और हमारे अंदर की हर चीज को साफ कर देने वाला पानी तो फिर सवाल ये होगा कि ये बरकत और ये तहारत खाली जिस्मानी है या उसके पीछे और कोई माने छुपे हुए हैं उसके पीछे और कोई मानी छुपे हुए हैं अगर हमारी जिंदगी तीन हिस्सों में चलती है इफ यू से देर आवर लाइफ सिट्स ऑन थ्री बींग्स और आवर लाइफ इज डिवाइडेड ऑन थ्री स्टेजेस अ फिजिकल बींग अ स्पिरिचुअल बींग एंड अ इंटेलेक्चुअल बींग अगर हम कहते हैं कि हमारी जिंदगी तीन हिस्सों में तकसीम है जिसम रू और अकल देन द न्याज एंड आब शफा द ब्लेसिंग एंड क्योर प्योरिफिकेशन तो फिर बरकत और तहारत तीन लेवल पर होगी जिसमानी रूहानी और अकलानी एक तरफ से बरकत दूसरी तरफ से ताहरत फ्रॉम वन साइड ब्लेसिंग एंड फ्रॉम द अदर साइड प्योरिफिकेशन first let's talk about the preparation of niyaz preparation of niyaz then we will talk about six different times that we normally have niyaz preparation of niyaz what do you see in the preparation of niyaz 
and what prayers are offered and what rites and rituals and what traditions take place. What it means that in the preparation of niyas, there are some rites and rituals and some traditions. सबसे पहले हम देखेंगे कि न्यास को तैयार करने में क्या क्या क्रियाएं की जाती है और उन क्रियाओं के अंदर कौन सी चीजें हमारे तरीके के कोर है एसेंस है और क्या उसके अंदर हमारा ट्रेडिशन हमारी परंपरा या हमारा कल्चर का रोल उसके अंदर है लेट्स लुक एट द वे द न्याज इज कैप्ट व्हाट व्हाट डू वी सी वी सी वन बिग वेसल गैलन ऑफ वाटर एक गड़ा होता है एक बड़ा सा बर्तन होता है जिसके अंदर पानी पड़ा होता है सेकंड वी हैव अ कोम दैट लॉन्ग जार इन विच द वाटर इज पोर्ड जिसके अंदर गड़े से पानी डाला जाता है वो कोम जो बड़ा होता है देन We have a small cup. इसके बाद हमारे पास एक करसिया होता है जो हम कुंभ में डालकर उसमें से पानी निकालते हैं Fourth, we have न्यास की प्याली The small न्यास प्याली Normally, those pialis are counted as twelve different places. Remember, our tarika is dynamic. You will see twelve. You may even see fifteen or less, depending on your jamaat. You may only see ten, only eight. less or more but we are talking about normal understanding of the pyali and those are 12 4 4 and 4 three plates some jamaat ka naam mein have a two plate only if you have only two line then you will have four on right four on the left each side of the part if you have a three line you may have three plates with four pyali each if the jamaat khana is big huge many people you may have five five and five it doesn't matter if it's 8 10 12 15 or even more depending on how convenient we wanted to make for the jamaat taking the niyas now let's talk about the meaning of each one of this and i have not covered one other thing i will cover there in a minute there's one more thing on the part which i have not covered and we will come to that let's talk about this four things first gada kum cup nyas ki pyaliya those four things the big jar of water jisko hum gada kehte hain that represents akle kul that is a representation of universal intellect 
this shows all of the water water is a symbol of ilm all of the water the ilm comes from the akle kol the big vessel jisko hum apni zuban mein gada kehte hain akle kol gives the ilm not directly to the jamaat puts it in a comb their comb is representation of nafs e kol universal soul universal soul receives is ilm the water from the universal intellect comb jo hai wo nafs e kul ki misal hai aur wo apna ilm aql e kul se hasil karta hai see when we go to jamaat khana we don't pay attention to those things we don't see those things but those are very important for us to understand why why do we need to understand this so we can understand the process the line where does niaz the original water ill comes from which one thing that has unlimited ilm where does ilm pour out of kahan se ye ilm aata hai kahan par sabse bada ilm ka khazana hai to pata chala ki ilm aql e kul se aata hai ilm ka khazana aql e kul ke andar hai aur wahi se uska kharij hona hota hai uska descent wahan se shuru hota hai but we cannot directly take the ilm from aql e kul that is called hudud e din or the system of hierarchy of the religion everyone must go to someone close to them not directly to the aql e kul in our tarika we understand this very very well you know those who says we don't need imam we will directly go to allah that is not the system the process we must go through a wasila intercessor mediatory the ranks of hudud e din that is the hierarchy of religion and everyone must follow their hierarchy so aql e kul the representation in the niyaz ceremony is that big jar of water jisko hum gada kehte hain the comb is representation of nafs e kul universal soul we don't drink niyaz from the comb either do we we don't drink the niyaz from the gada nor we drink the niyaz from the comb hum gade mein se bhi niyaz ko nahi peete hain aur comb mein se bhi niyaz ko nahi peete hain kahan se peete hain hum 
प्याली में से पीते हैं वेर डू वी टेक आवर न्यास फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द्याली हाउ डिड न्यास गाट इन टू द्याली वो प्याली के अंदर न्यास कहा से आया तो आप बोलेंगे कि प्याली और कुंभ के दरमियान में एक करसिया था अ कप दैट कप रिप्रेजेंट हुजत पीर इट इज दुजत एंड द पीर द टेक द न्यास फ्रॉम द कुंभ and gives to pyali pours into the pyali kum se pyali tak niyas ka jo safar tha process tha aana tha wo kahan se aaya kisne diya to wo jo cup hota hai jisko hum karsiya kehte hain wo karsiya nafs e kul se niyas ko प्याली की तरफ प्याली के अंदर उंडेलता है एंड वी डोंट टेक द डायरेक्ट वी डोंट ड्रिंक द न्याज फ्रॉम दैट कप इधर वी डोंट हम उस कप के अंदर उस करसे के अंदर से भी हम न्याज नहीं पीते हैं हम क्या इंतजार करते हैं कि वो कप कुंभ से न्यास को निकालकर प्याली में डाले प्याली रिप्रेजेंट्स दाई एंड यू नोटिस देर आर मेनी मेनी दाई नॉट वन मेनी दाई अकले कुल वॉज वन नफसे कुल वॉज ऑल्सो वन हुजत पीर वॉज ऑल्सो वन बट देन अंडर देम there were many dais the pyali represents dai and they can be 8 10 12 15 more or less that is the system the hierarchy of religion a momin must take the blessing and the abeshafa ilm and the dua ashish from the dai dai receives that from hujjat hujjat gets that from universal soul and universal soul receives that from universal intellect हम दाई से इल्म लेते हैं अपनी शिफात और अपनी रहमत ब्लेसिंग न्याज एन आबे शफा वो दाई से हम लेते हैं प्याली में से पीते हैं और वहां पर कहा से आया था हुजत से आया था पीर से आया था यानी कि करसी ने डाला उधर से ने न्यास को कहा से हासिल किया नफ से कुल से हासिल किया नफ से कुल के अंदर इल्म कहा से आया अकल कुल से आया ये है हदूद दीन की सीढ़ी स्टेप बाय स्टेप मोमिन टेक देर इल्म एंड द ब्लेसिंग न्याज एंड आबे शफा फ्रॉम द दाई प्याली प्याली रिसीव फ्रॉम हुजत पीर द कप द कप टेक्स इट फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सल सोल द कोम एंड द यूनिवर्सल सोल गेट्स इट फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सल इंटेलेक्ट द गड़ा एंड दो आर द फोर विजिबल थिंग्स द हायर की ऑफ रिलीजन दीन का प्रोसेस यहां पर हमें नजर आता है आई होप दिस मेक्स इट सिंपल इजियर फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड 
what is the hierarchy of religion and how it works i said there was one more thing on that nias part that i have not mentioned yet and what was that that small bottle of nias that small bottle of nias up until this point without that small bottle of nias what do we have we have water 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 and water us nias ki bottle ko agar aap chhod dete hain to hamare paas kya hai gade mein pani koom mein pani karsiye mein pani aur pyali mein pani ilm hai ilm charo jagah par hai लेकिन उसके अंदर अभी तक आबे शफा और नियाज नहीं है वाटर 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 बट नॉट द ब्लेसिंग नोर द प्योरिफिकेशन एंड दैट कम्स फ्रॉम वेयर फ्रॉम द नियाज की प्याली वी आर नॉट डन यट now let's talk about the rites and rituals without the amr of the imam none of this matters imam ki hukum ke bigar imam ke amr ke bigar ye koi bhi cheez ka koi matlab nahi hai it must have the blessing the amr of the imam e zaman so what do we do we offer prayers surah alhamd ko padha jata hai hum dua mangte hain shifa ke liye dua mangte hain aur barakat ke liye dua mangte hain और जब हम वो उसके अंदर डालते हैं तो क्या कहते हैं फरमान या मौला तेरा फरमान तेरे फरमान के मुताबिक तेरे अमर के साथ मैं इसका आगाज करता हूं फरमान वट इज द रिप्लाई ऑफ द फरमान या अली या मोहम्मद देर अमर द फरमान कम्स फ्रॉम नूर अली नूर मोहम्मद विदाउट दी अमर ऑफ दी अली ए जमान नूर अली आल नबी औलाद अली इमाम जमान उसके अमर के बिगर और उसकी रहमत के बिगर न्याज के नॉट बी ब्लेस्ड and abe shifa cannot purify and we repeat this every single time we establish niyaz aur hum isko har martaba jab bhi niyaz ko sthapna hota hai to hum ye practice ko jo part of our rites and ritual hai usko hum dohrate hain उसको हम दोहराते हैं आई सेट देर वॉज ऑल्सो सम ट्रेडिशन एंड ट्रेडिशन कैन बी चेंज वी टॉक अबाउट लास्ट वीक इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट इन आवर लास्ट प्रीवियस सेशन राइट्स एंड रिचुअल आर नॉट चेंज इफ दो दस गेट चेंज इज ओनली चेंज बाई इमाम जमान traditions can be changed with the amar of the mukhi in the jamaat khana mukhi can change the tradition not rites and ritual rites and rituals are only changed 
by the Imam Zaman. Aap samajh ye dono ke andar farak? You must understand this. Because otherwise sometime we don't know what is our rites and rituals, meaning core of our religion, Asul al -Din, and what is our tradition. And why we see different practices in different Jamaat Khanas. Because tradition can be set, changed by the Amar of the Mukhi. Rites and ritual are fixed, core of religion, and only can be changed by the Imam Zaman. For example, in Pakistan or in some other countries, the niyaz is established before the ginan starts in the beginning, before both duas and before the ashaji ginan. But in Western countries, the niyaz is established in the middle of the dua. In the middle of the dua. What is that? Tradition. What are the rites and rituals? Our Asul al-Din kya hai? Niyaz or Niyaz ka istapna that is our rites and ritual. When and how that is our tradition. And you notice tradition can be changed and you can see in different countries different practices. Traditions are changed. Okay. Now, the most important thing in Niyaz is the Amre Imam. One must say Farman with the Amr of the Imam I establish and witness the Jamaat repeats Ya Ali Ya Muhammad. This Amr comes from the Imam Zaman, Nure Muhammad, Aulade Ali, Ali Nabi, Aulade Ali. It comes from Imam Zaman. In other words, we cannot do that. It must come from the Amr, the Farman of the Imam of the time. Without that, we cannot establish Niyaz. Without his Amr, Niyaz is just water. With his Amr, their water becomes Niyaz Abe Shafa. I hope everyone understood this very, very well in detail. Then if you have some question or comment, you can start entering those in the chat. Don't unmute yourself. Enter your comments or question and someone can guide you toward those questions. Let's talk about six different places where we see different occasion where we see niyaz friday niyaz represents the ilm of the prophet as the friday is the day of prophet muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam friday's niyaz represents ilm of the Natik Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa. Chandrat Niyaz represents the ilm of the time of Kiamat. Pay attention to this. Chandrat Niyaz represents the ilm of the time of Kiamat. Morning Niyaz 
Why do we have niyaz every day in the morning, but only one on Friday? Why do we have niyaz on Chandrat when we have niyaz in the morning every day? The morning niyaz represents the ill of the Imam Zaman and it shows that Imam Zaman's ill is present every day. Every day, regardless of the day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Imam ill is present every day. Morning niyaz represents ill of the Imam of the time. हमने तीन को कवर किया जुम्मे का नियाज मोहम्मद मुस्तफा सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम नबी आखर के इल्म को बयान करता है चांदराज का नियाज क्यामत के जमाने के इल्म को रिप्रेजेंट करता है बयान करता है सुबह को रोजाना ही नियाज होता है कोई भी दिन हो खाली जुमे को नहीं खाली चांदरात को नहीं रोजाना ही नियाज होता है सुबह का नियाज इमाम के इल्म को रिप्रेजेंट करता है इमाम के इल्म को क्योंकि इमाम का इल्म हर रोज हर जमाने में हमेशा रहता है उसको रिप्रेजेंट करता है Did we ever wonder? Have we ever thought, why do we have niyaz on Friday only, and then on Chandrat only? But in the morning, we have niyaz every day. Have we ever thought like that? If answer is no, that shows we are not paying attention to our tariqa. If your answer is yes. You did wonder. Then today you are receiving the answer to that question. Now we have three more. Niyaz in Satara. Niyaz in seven days Satara in the evening. What does that represent? The Satara Niyaz represent the blessing and the Abe Shafa cure for our Mushkilat from the Imam e Zaman. How do we know that? Because it's all seven days, every single day, right? Which Niyaz is established every single day? Which ilm? And the cure, purification, the blessings is given every single day of the Imam e Zaman. Satara Niyaz represent the blessing for the Mushkil Asan of the from the Imam e Zaman. Satara me jo saan din Niyaz establish kya jata hai. यानी कि हर हफ्ते के रोज जुमे को शुरू हुआ तो जुमे रात तक शनिचर को शुरू हुआ तो जुमे तक इतवार का शुरू हुआ तो शनिचर तक वो रिप्रेजेंट करता है इमाम जमान की दुआ आशीषों को मुश्किल आसान के लिए जमात के लिए इमाम जमान की तरफ से क्योंकि वो सातों दिन होता है हर रोज होता है और हर रोज जो नियाज होता है वो सिंबल है इशारा है इमाम जमान की तरफ अब आए हम मजलिस के अंदर नियाज वट डज नियाज इन दजालिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द नियाज इन दजालिस रिप्रेजेंट द इल्म of the khidmat and the ilm of the qurbani 
that Nyas represents and teaches that there is a blessing and source for purification in the Khidmat, in the Qurbani, because Majalis are offering the Khidmat and the Qurbani to the Imam and the Jamaat. And then Niyaz represent that there is a blessing upon those who give their Khidmat and their Qurbani. That is the representation of the Niyaz in our Majalis. There is one more kind of special Niyaz that we as a Murid gets excited about. We get so excited about. What Niyaz is that? When special Niyaz come from the Imam Zaman. Ek or Niyaz ka zikr zaruri hai ya samajna zaruri hai ke hum bohut hi khush ho jate hain aisa lagta hai jaisa khushali aa gayi jab imam ke huzur se jamaat ke liye niyaz bheja jata hai what does that represent that imam is happy with the jamaat and when the imam is happy with the jamaat jamaat celebrates jamaat feels happy and announcement is made that today the niyaz has come from the imam's huzur jab imam jamaat se khush hote hain to wo blessing niyaz bhejte hain हमारे गुनाहों को माफ करने के लिए आबे शफा बेचते हैं बादशाह कहता है कि मैं अपनी राया से मेरी जमात से खुश हूं जब इमाम खुश होता है तो जमात भी खुश हो जाती है और जमात एक सेलिब्रेशन एक जश्न एक खुशी का इजहार करती है और हम सब जमात आने की तरफ दौड़ पड़ते हैं कि आज इमाम की तरफ से नियाज बरकत आबिशफा ताहरत रहमते उतरी है इमाम हमसे खुश है हम भी उसमें खुश हो जाते हैं और हम वो नियाज पीने के लिए हासिल करने के लिए जमात खानों की तरफ दौड़ पड़ते हैं एंड दैट नियाज रिप्रेजेंट द प्लेजर happiness extraordinary blessings and extraordinary taharat purification barkat for the jamaat so those are some some not complete some of the understanding of the niyaz niyaz establishment how we establish that remember we have istapan ki dua uthapan ki dua aur qaim karne ki dua three types we establish we announce that we are about to close and then we close three types of prayers why prayers because nothing is without the prayers in the prayers we are asking for the permission amar of the imam e zaman and those are our rites and rituals and some are our traditions inshallah let me stop here so now if you have any comments any question Anything you like me to explain again? कुछ पूछना है, कुछ रह गया है उर्दू के अंदर, गुजराती के अंदर, तो आप पूछ लें। जी। 
ji subhan allah subhan allah sir thank you very much for explaining this in so much detail that uh, you know now uh, onwards when we go to jamaat khana you know we just don't go and drink the niyas but we look all the things there and we think about its batini meaning so thank you sir um there is a one question in a private chat it says um kamar uh, in the um in the uk mukhyanima and kamaryanima give the dua to the jamaat at the end of the jamaati prayers this has always been done by mukhi saheb and kamaryan saheb has this change come from hazuri ma'am please help please uh, explain what is our tradition you understand the tradition right tradition can be changed by the mukhi saheb what can be changed by imam or we cannot change without the amr of the imam that is our rites and ritual mukhi sahib gives the dua mukhyani ma gives the dua kamra sahib gives the dua kamra ni ma gives the dua what about you if mukhi sahib says kasam bhai aaj aap dua de de that is the amar of the mukhi in the jamaat khana that is our tradition and tradition can be changed by the mukhi who is the amar in the jamaat khana if mukhi sahib says from now on mukhyani ma aur kamriyani ma mukhi sahib aur kamriya sahib or kasam bhai an ordinary moment in jamaat khana can give the blessing with the amar of the mukhi which has received the amar from the imam then that can be done that is not even a question because that is the amar which comes from the mukhi ji ji sir thank you for um clearing that um sir another friend has a question why um no for those of us who cannot attend morning jamaat khana but have niyaz daily at home are we missing out totally or does it come down to niyat well yes it is come down to the niyat but it doesn't matter what i say right what answer i give it doesn't matter what does imam says imam says come to jamaat khana and morning jamaat khana is more important than the evening jamaat khana mind boggling right you know when new jamaat khana are established you know what imam ask the amaldar how many jamaat comes in the morning if a maldar say 200 the jamaat khana is built around those 200 not those thousand who comes on juma and chandrat morning jamaat khana is very very important more important than the evening jamaat khana that is the nurani waqt Yes you can drink niyaz in at home you don't even have to go to jamaat khana ever but that is not our tradition that is not the farman of the imam what does imam want from us that is important we try we should try we try our best to go to the morning jamaat khana If you cannot go both time, try to go in the morning. If you have a choice, should I go in the morning or evening? Go in the morning. If you can not go, Imam has no force. Imam does not force us. Then yes, you are right. Your niyat is there. But remember, niyat requires action. 
we cannot set our net on the laziness. We are supposed to set our net on top of our action. I hope you understand that. G. G, sir, thank you. Sir, another question is um, why is the Niyas outed in the Pialis in the fifth part? Uh, when in the fifth part, when we do Farman, Farman, and put the Niyas in the Piali? I think so this person was not listening or he was not present at the beginning of the session. Ab Shuru Shuru me is lecture me shad naite. Ya ab nevo nisuna jo nachis ne erski at the beginning of the explanation of the establishment of the niyas. The establishment time of the niyas is the tradition, not rites and ritual. Tradition, if you go to the Asian countries like Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, when is niyas established? My brother, my sister, when is niyas established? Before the dua, before the Asha Ji Ginan. Most of the time, you will not even see establishment of the niyas if you are not there 15 minutes before the first dua. The niyas is established much earlier in Asian countries. Remember the tradition? Tradition can be changed with the amar of the mukhi. So that question is null and void because who said niyaz must be established in the fifth part of the dua? Who, who told you that? That is our tradition and that can be changed. G. G. Sir. So the next question is, uh, can you please explain Chandrat Niyaz and what is meant by Ilm of the Kayamat time? Can you elaborate more, please? G. Chandrat was established and only was established at the time of Kayamat. Chandrat gathering the way we know it. It never existed before the beginning of the Kiamat. When did Kiamat begin? When Imam gives the Farman, Amar, command. When was this Amar and command given? That was 17 August 1980, sorry, 1885. Imam with the stroke of a farman, he gave the command, the beginning of the Kiamat. In his very first farman, at the age of eight years old, Imam started the Dore Kiamat, the time of the Kiamat. And then Chandrat Madlas was established. Chandrat Niyaz represents or gives you something to think about. I think that is a big issue in our Jamaat. We don't ask question. Today you are asking question. And therefore, I love you and I'm telling you that you and because of your question, the Jamaat's eyes are opening. Those who are present here, those who will listen to this lecture from years and years to come because of your question. Thank you. Chandra Mullahs was established by the Imam of the time of Kiamat as a ishara to tell you that something new has 
begun. Something is about to change. A kiamat is about to come. Pay attention and learn about the kiamat. And the niyaz represents the ilm of the time of kiamat. That is the niyaz of the chandrat. That is the reason we establish niyaz on the chandrat. So we may think our tarika is a tarika of logic and intellect. So we may pay attention. Ji. Ji, subhanallah, subhanallah, sir. Ji. Thank you for giving us, uh, you know, some thought to reflect on. So thank you. Shukaram so a friend is asking if you can explain the dua for Sthapanji, Uthapanji and Kayam Karanji. Very simple. I would not put too much time into it. Establish Sthapanji just like anything else. There is a beginning, there is a middle and there is an ending. Isn't that how our life is? We are born, we live our life in the middle, and then we finish our life. Just like that, everything that has a beginning, has a middle, and has an end. Is Sapanji to start, Uthapanji to announce that we are about to close, and then Kaim Karanji to finish that practice that we had started so i would not and this is just my humble opinion okay those are just our practices just like anything else we must start something and that must have an ending it cannot just continue forever right just like our life Look at your day. Day starts, then we have 24 hours, and day ends. So day start will be the example of establish the niyas. The during 24 hour will be example of uthapanji dua. And then ending of the day is the example of kaim karanji dua. That shows the duration and the process of a life. G. G, sir, thank you. <clears throat> sir, a friend is asking that uh, we see some Jamati members uh, asking for niyas after the dua Uthapanji. Um, <laughs> is there something meaningful in that? I'm not going going to even justify the answer to that. Instead of that, I'm going to tell you a story. So you may think for yourself. First, remember our tariqa is logic and intellect. Whenever we do things without the logic and intellect, those kind of tradition starts. I'm going to tell you a story. One time, <laughs> to laugh. One time there was a wedding in somebody's home and Dadi Ma, grandmother noticed that there are some chicken running around and she did not want it to those chicken to be get hurt or run over by the people coming to the wedding. So she asked for a basket. She said bring me a basket she collected all those chicken, put a basket on top of it to save them from getting run over by the people coming to the wedding. Guess what happened after that? At the another wedding, someone said, Oh my God, you remember what Dadima had done in so and so wedding? Go get some chicken. So they bought some chicken from the market. Bring me a basket. 
they brought the basket they put the basket on top of the chicken guess what happened now a tradition started now tell me is that logical or intellect nobody asked dadi ma why are you doing that dadi ma would have said beta i don't want chicken to be run over by the people coming to the wedding instead of that they started a tradition without thinking without logic and without the intellect do you did you get your answer i hope you are a person of logic and intellect that's how traditions are started without thinking ji ji said that was a very good example and uh, yeah it does made us laugh and yeah sometimes we just follow uh some people doing it and then we just follow the same thing so. we don't think right we don't use our logic ji so there is one raised hand that's take her um let me i love the mic okay uh, miss parvin punjani you can unmute now sir so, parvin punjani do you have a question your hand is raised do you you can unmute now um okay sir i don't see her now so let's take the next question uh, could you elaborate what exactly sukrit represents and the mixing of niyas in it we have the subject coming up in our weeks next sessions today we are covering the niyas we will cover chanta sukrit and jura inshallah is coming up ji Okay, sir. So the next question is: When someone is on the on the death bed, niyaz is given. Is this a tradition? That is the tradition. Yes. How do you see that as a tradition, not a rite and ritual? Because what about somebody dies in a, an accident, right? They don't get a niyaz because they died in accident. or they die in the plane crash or other things like flood or earthquake our tradition is that when you see a man woman a jamati member is suffering is about to die you wanted to bless them remember niyaz blessing abe shafa purification you wanted to bless them with the utmost purification that is your well wish for your relative your friend and it is mukhi sahib's well wish sifarish for the dying person that is part of our tradition but is not required and most of the time it doesn't even happen because everybody does not die after getting sick right some people die all of the sudden g okay um sir a friend is asking if you can explain more on chandrat and qiyamat when started in the time of um, um maulana sultan mohammad shah allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad that was the very first day when imam e zaman at the very young age sat on the throne of the imamat and with that he announced what did he announce very first farman second paragraph the book is called kalam e imam e mubin the faramin of the imam e zaman 
The very first Farman, second paragraph, talks about that. Ye dore kiamat hai. Ye akri zamana hai. With that Farman, with that command, with that Amr, the time, the era, the period of the kiamat started. And then it was he, the 40th Imam, who established the Chandra Madlas. And with Chandra Madlas came the Niyaz of the Chandra. That is a representation for us to think, ponder on. Urdu mein isko kehte hain ishara. Ki imam ne hume ishara kiya, samjaya. Ki dekho, ye dore kiamat hai, uska ilm asil karo. Ye dore kiamat hai, uski barkat ko asil karo. Ye dore kiamat hai, अपने आप को पाक कर लो ये इशारा था जी जी सर सुबह अल्लाम सर फ्रेंड इज सेइंग प्लीज सर एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज खिदमत एंड कुर्बानी द फ्रेंड हु रेज द हैंड अर्लियर हर कॉल ड्रॉप्ड सो शी इज आस्किंग प्लीज सर एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज खिदमत एंड कुर्बानी That is called Hamari Zaman Mias Kaum Majalis Kete Hai Majalis are what? You know Majalis are not required, right? Majalis are your khidmat your kurbani toward the jamaat and the imam when we will cover our Majalis session Remember, we are in on a series of lecture. After the Chanta, Sukhrit, we will come to the Kushalis, we will come to the Majalis. And when we come to the Majalis, we will explain each one of those Majalis and how each Madlas represent a Khidmat, a Kurbani of the Jamaat Toward the Jamaat and toward the Imam. We will explain all of that. But Madlas are called the Khidmat and the Kurbani of the Jamaat. Ji. Subhanallah. Thank you, sir. Friends, uh, sir, I see Gulzar hands raised. Uh, Gulzar, you can unmute, please. याली मदद सर याली मदद सर आप जो ये आदेश का जो तो समझा रहे थे वो पूरा हो गया था क्योंकि दिशा कंसेप्ट तो फिर इसमें जैसे मुखी साहेब और कांग्रेस साहेब का जो अपने जमात का नियम जो उनकी जो उनका दर्जा है तो और एक इंटरसेसर वर्ड अपन जो यूज़ करते हैं लेकिन समझते हैं तो ये कॉन्टेक्स्ट में सर मुखी साहेब कांग्रेस साहेब समझ Uh, Ferial looks like she is in a car or something. There's a lot of background noise. Could you explain the <laughs> question from her to me, please? Uh, Gulzar, please can you repeat that? We I cannot hear her properly either. Gulzar, please repeat it. Ah, uh, sir, sir, uh, are we clear, hai, sir? हाँ पीछे yes. शायद आप गाड़ी में कहीं हैं आवाज बहुत है। हाँ सर मैं गाड़ी में हूँ सर लेकिन जी. मैं ट्राई कर रही अभी आवाज आई सर? जी सर आप ये जो समझे ना आदेश अफ़ा का तो मैं ये पूछ रही थी कि हुदूदे दीन और इंटरसेसर के कंटेक्स्ट में मुखी सर कमरे सर का दर्जा थोड़ा सा एक्सप्लेन करो ना सर जी ओके मुखी आर दी अमर representation representative of the imam e zaman in the jamaat khana meaning inside the jamaat khana the amar of the mukhi is valid At one time when imam aka sultan mohammad shah sallallahu alaihi 
our soul be sacrificed to their imam his mother passed away and the mayat was sitting in the jamaat khana mukhi sahib was waiting for the imam to ar arrive and give chanta to mother mata salamat when imam arrived in the jamaat khana he asked mukhi mukhi did you give chanta to my mother Mukhi says, Khudavin, I was waiting for you to give this chanta to Mata Salamat. And Imam said, Mukhi, you don't understand. You are the Amar in the Jamaat Khana. Mukhi are the Amar. Total control in the Jamaat Khana. You give the chanta to my mother. That is the respect and the rank. Understanding of the Mukhi in Jamaat Khana. Unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes we forget and we don't give the respect to the Mukhi Sahib. Mukhi Sahib gives the Amar and the four parts of those who do the Deen are the symbols in the niyaz akle kul nafse kul hujjat dai those are the representation and mukhi sahib is the amar with which the niyaz is established and while the niyaz is established we say the niyaz is established according to the farman of the imam is the man and what do we say farman and jamaat replies ya li ya muhammad with the farman of the imam from the ali nabi aulad ali we establish this niyaz same thing when we go and drink our niyaz you know we, when we take the piali before we drink what do we say Farman. And what is the reply? Yali ya Muhammad. Drink the niyaz with the farman of the Ali and the Muhammad. Ji. Thank you, sir. Shukran Ali Thank you. Ji. Sir, thank you very much for explaining that. That was a beautiful question in reference to also understand how we get the knowledge step by step. We cannot get direct knowledge from a clickful universal soul. The knowledge comes from the higher to the lower and we get it from the lower side. So, Inshallah. Thank you. Friends, if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat box or you can um, unmute your device. Sir, one question or hai, please. Yes, yes. When we sit on the Abhay Shafa and when we sit on the Abhay Shafa or when we sit on the Abhay Shafa, it was so big that it was a blessing. What time pe our thought process, our humility, what do we need to do? First of all, you will see that the people who are sitting on the knees, do they understand the same thing that they are doing? The majority of the people who are sitting on the knees, do they understand the same thing? They just sit on the knees, कभी बच्चे बैठे होते हैं कभी बूढ़े बैठे होते हैं कभी जवान होते हैं कभी पढ़े लिखे होते हैं कभी अनपढ़ होते हैं वो तो मुखी साहब ने कहा या वॉलंटियर ने कहा तो जाके बैठ गए राइट right? अब आपका सवाल ये है कि अगर आप बैठेंगे तो आपका थॉट प्रोसेस क्या होगा ये आपका सवाल है मैं दुरुस्त समझ रहा हूं आपको ये आपका सवाल है हां जब हम बैठेंगे उस पार्ट के ऊपर तो हमारा थॉट प्रोसेस अलग होगा क्यों अलग होगा भाई 
हमको आसमान से थोड़ी उतरे हैं क्योंकि हमारे पास इल्म है इल्म की रोशनी में लॉजिकली सोच समझकर हम वो काम करेंगे जब हम घड़े को उठाएंगे तो हमारे जेन में ये बात होगी कि ये अकले कुल की निशानी है जब कुम को खोलेंगे तो हमारे पास ये अंडरस्टैंडिंग होगी कि ये नफ्स कुल की निशानी है हमारा थोट प्रोसेस दूसरा होगा क्यों क्योंकि हमारे पास इल्म है लेकिन अक्सर लोगों के पास इल्म नहीं होता है वो तो बस यू करते रहते हैं और जो मिमिक करते हैं उसको क्या बोलते हैं हमारी जबान में जो चीजों को नकल करते हैं उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं अपनी जबान में वो तो खाली मिमिक कर रहा है ना बंदर बोलते हैं उसको हमारा मजहब जो है ना वो एनिमलिस्टिक रिलीजन नहीं है हमारा मजहब लॉजिकल एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल के ऊपर बैठा हुआ है तो पहले ये सिखाना चाहिए समझाना चाहिए बताना चाहिए ऐसी वाइजे जमात में करनी चाहिए कि जिससे जमात को अंदाजा हो कि वो न्यास पर बैठकर क्या कर रहे हैं लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली अक्सर लोग ना तो सवाल पूछते हैं ना ही लेक्चर्स को सुनते हैं बल्कि वो उसको इग्नोर करते हैं वो इल्म से डरते हैं इल्म से दूर भागते हैं अपनी अक्ल को इस्तेमाल नहीं करते हैं ये अक्सरियत की बात है लेकिन कुछ लोग इमाम के फरमान को मानते हैं और इमाम का फरमान क्या है लर्न 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 ये इमाम का फरमान है लेकिन सब इमाम के फरमान पर तवज्जो नहीं दे रहे हैं जी जी सर सुबह so what yeah, we are learning we will put it in action so thank you sir absolutely yes go ahead friend ali madad sir ali madad um first thing uh, i have two question but first thing i want to say that i learned so much today i'm so happy thank you very Shukra much shukran nothing else i learned Shukra. everything and the uh, second thing i want to say i i heard one of your recording saying that uh, after uh, uh, मॉर्निंग दुआ घट पाट कायम करन जी इफ यू बाउंड डाउन बाउंड डाउन इन से दुआ नी टू केयर यू कैन गेट इन द सल्वेशन आई हर्ड वन वन ऑफ योर रिकॉर्डिंग राइट सो दैट वाज अगेन वन ऑफ द सिंबल और एग्जांपल दैट बाउइंग डाउन सजदा ब्रिंग्स अ मोमेंट क्लोजर टू द नूर ऑफ द इमाम so it is not only in the morning whenever the dua is given dua ni khair khair ji venti sha to je huzur mein qabool farma whenever this dua is offered if you are true mumin you will fall in sajda so you may come closer to the noor of the imam Right. But, uh, but the thing is, nobody like uh, I always do shukar mola. But uh, only one or two women will standing nearby me. They hardly will do it. But no kids, nobody do that. So this is is a missionary's job to give this kind of advice in Jamaat Khana so everybody understand these things. Because even in dua dua time, nobody will say siji do. Bend, bend down as a little bit to say Sijji do either. They will just sing and just doing with the hand like that. That's it. All the kids sitting in front of Numukiani Ma, all the volunteers, they do the same thing. And all the kids never, the nobody bend down for a one is okay. So isn't it a uh, missionary's job to explain this in Jamaat Khana so everybody can understand? Well, you can do it now. You know. How many people have you taught? Uh, well, I, 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 when I'm, I'm doing it. A lady stand here by me. Hardly <laughs> one or two will sit down. Not everybody. Nobody will sit down because I'm in mean, the Nandi oh. doing seva. Nandi, I still sit down there as well on the seva. That seva time. Let me, let me elaborate on this. 
How many okay. people living on this earth? Do you have any idea? No. <laughs> 8.5 billion. 8.5 billion. How many of them are Al Kitab? Yeah. Four, three billion. How many of those Al Kitab are Muslim? 1.2 billion. How many of those Muslim are Shia? Less than half. Maybe quarter. How many of those quarter are Ismailis? Less than mm -hmm. one percent. Okay. What does this teach you? Only mm -hmm. one out of hundred will understand. That is okay. the law of nature. Mm -hmm. That is the law of nature. Mm -hmm. We cannot expect nor I don't care why Zin can stand there every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. 100% will never do it because yeah. that is not a natural law. Law of nature sits in the number. And that is only one out of 100, one out of 1,000, one out of 10,000, one out of 100,000. Let me give you a second example. How many people are present right now on this lecture? Mm -hmm. Today you were taught yeah. 100 out of how many million? 15 million. Mm -hmm. 15 million is probably 100 present here today. Why? Mm -hmm. Because that yeah. is the law of nature. Mm -hmm. I would not expect everyone to know this thing. That is a wrong expectation. And mm -hmm. everyone will not do what you are is doing. That is wrong mm -hmm. expectation. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much Mukhi Sahib or missionary will tell you. That's how true. many people follow Imam Sarman? One mm -hmm. percent. Only one percent. That's, That's the true. law of nature. Mm -hmm. Gee. Yeah. And the second question is, you know, when we say, when they put the niyaz in the piali, um, after the half hour, so we say yali and mumas, so what is the uh, thing of that one? What is the meaning of that? Okay, I think I explained that two, three times today. Two or three times I explained that today. First he says, farman, <laughs> and the reply we say yali and mumas. He's saying, I am pouring this niyaz mm -hmm. according to the Amr, the Farman of the Imam. Mm -hmm. And you are replying, yes, I am the witness that that is the Farman of the Ali and the Muhammad. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Yali, yes. Ji. Sir, friend has this question, if we can um, explain that. Uh, Maulana Hazar Imam, uh, sorry, Sultan Muhammad Shalam, Asali Allah, Muhammad Inwali Muhammad has said, when you drink niyaz, pray for others first, then yourself. According to what you said, it is in ilm. Uh, explain how it is related. Very easy. Because without the ilm, how are you going to pray for others? That was simplest question. Easy, right? What I was just telling Zinat Ben, because Ilm teaches you, because you were listening to Mola Baba's Farman, Mola Baba was giving you the Ilm, right? And without the Ilm, would you ever pray for others? Niyaz is the blessing and the purification for the Jamaat. So you should pray and wish for them to receive the blessing and purification. Ilm is that avenue, that way with which the blessings and the purification will come. Ilm is that water, what you call niyaz. Ilm is that water, what you call abhishafa. That's what Imam was saying. Learn. Take the ilm. Take the water of purification of the blessing 
and make sure you also pray for the others so they may understand and they may also have even though they did not drink the niyaz but they also would have if you would recommend them if you would pray for them they will have the same blessings and purification as you ilm 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 learn 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 g um okay sir i don't see any questions in the chat um um so something just popped in here it says uh, should we be reciting salawat when we are opening closing ghatpat and or throughout the whole ghatpat ceremony if you want it's not a requirement but there is nothing wrong with it you know why not right sure there if this is what you want but it's not a requirement okay if that's what helps you if that's what helps you focus sure g these are friends if you have any questions you can uh, unmute your mic or put it in the chat uh, hello yali madad alwai sir yali madad alwai sir you know in the ghat pat ginans uh it's written that um when we start with uh khat pat stapan ji dua there's the time uh all uh, the imam and all the threatri scroll devtas these are all the prophets imams peers they all come uh that there is a whole darbar and uh they come and pray for us and give us dua shis and when we do a uh, ghatpat uh, uthap um, kayam karanji that's the time we are closing the the darbar is finishing then so uh, i remember you know the uh, the, uh, the itrab was always announcing uh, to us in nairobi that please uh, when ghatpat uh, ginan parai che tare tame loka please tasbikaro watu na karo because that's the time all this is happening but unfortunately by then most of the jamaat is outside but it's in so many ghatpat ginans my friend my sister when you enter the jamaat kana what do you say that jamaat yes and of course has imam is there all the time <laughs> but so I, what you just what... said that contradict <laughs> what you just saying again i'm not contradicting i'm just stating in what is in the ginan sharif <laughs> has him mom everywhere and of course is always ever present i'm here hello sir we cannot hear you we can't hear you I think sir's mic is uh, freezed so let's see if uh, I don't see him either so looks like he might have some internet problem We will wait for a minute Yali madad can you hear me Yes sir now we can hear you Okay yeah we lost the power in our home so i'm connecting through my wireless phone just to last question and answer to my friend my friend there are is the teaching like a children then there are teaching like adult so remember when the ginan was established back 600 years ago where were we 600 years ago we were just coming from hinduism to muslim you remember that 600 years ago when these ginans were written 
we were converting from Hindu to Muslim. If you pay attention to the Ginan and the word of the Ginan, you will find the word Devta. There is no Devta word in Islam. You will never hear this word Devta in Islam. Doesn't that tell you that we were the children? We were very young in our Tariqa understanding. If that is still taught to us today, I would have to laugh. Because we are no longer children, or I hope we are no longer children. I hope we are not. So that teaching was like teaching to the young Jamaat at the time when we were converting from Hindu to Ismailis. And unfortunately, we are still have to remind the Jamaat, and you are absolutely right. <laughs> Tariqa board has to remind the Jamaat <laughs> to take. Hello? Would you ever say be quiet to the adult? No, you don't do that. Right? You just told us that, I believe you said Nairobi. I'm sure in America and other places in Pakistan and other places, Tariqa board has to remind the Jamaat to be quiet. Are we children? Because you don't say to be quiet to adult. Because adults understand and respect. Are we still children? I wonder. Think about that for a second. Are we children? The Tariqa board has to come and tell us to be quiet. That was the teaching 600 years ago when our forefathers were young in our Tariqa, like a children at the beginning of our Tariqa in Indo-Pakistan, in, in the greater subcontinent. Hopefully we are okay. in today and we would not need to do that anymore. G. So, Arisa, can I say two more things please from what you've just explained? Uh, you know Hazimam made a farman about Ginan Sharif saying calling it wonderful tradition and he mm -hmm. has also told us not to do it. He has told us to treasure it. The number one. Okay. Number two was you are talking about different languages. Uh, like in uh, Kiswahili in Kenya and Tanzania, we uh, describe, we call Allah as Mungu. Uh, in Arab, Arabic, we say Allah, and of course, Al Allah, God. English, we say God. And uh, in um, Sanskrit, they say Devta. So these are just different languages talking about the Almighty. Okay, I agree with you there. What does that have to be with to today's topic? Nothing. You know why is no, that nothing when, to do with no, topic? Because it's come the Imam with Ghatpat. It's come with the Ghatpat nu uh, Ginan nu uh, that uh, when Ghatpat is going on, uh, okay. is it okay if the Chamat goes out? So I remembered about the Ginan, and then you said that they call Delta because it was six hundred years ago. So I'm bringing it up as a language uh, issue. The Devta, Allah, Almighty, uh, all means Allah, but people express uh, uh, in different languages, which they, uh, uh, based on the languages they understand. So that's the, friend, uh, why I'm going to. My friend, my sister, please listen. How many ears do you have? How many mouths do you have? You have a one mouth, two ears, right? Listen twice, mm -hmm. speak one time. Let me explain one more time. To show you that this Ginan was written when we were converting from Hindu to Ismaili. And I just give you an example of a word. I just give you an example of a word. Okay? And who told you that we should not listen to the Ginan? I never said that. Who said Imam's Furman is incorrect. 
I never said that. My question was to you was a question. Are we children and we have to be told to be quiet? That was my question. Okay? Now, to end this session today here with this answer, there was a time when we needed to be told because we were children. This is not the time. This is not the time anymore. We are supposed to be grown up adult. Yes, if one says, no, I'm still children, then of course you need to be told to be quiet. But if you are an adult, you do not like to be said to be quiet. And adults have, you know what? Free will. They can stay in Jamaat Khana. We cannot be judge of them. They can leave the Jamaat Khana. We cannot be judge of them. But if they are in the Jamaat Khana, to the respect of the Jamaat Khana, they're supposed to be quiet. Not because it's time for the niyaz. No, as the Jamaat Khana's respect, adult who understand will be quiet. Children always going to be children. And adults who are acting like children, they will talk, they will yell, they will run around, and they will do everything and anything their children would do because those adults, they may be adult in the body, but in their mind, they are still children. So with that comment, let me end here. Inshallah, if we learn the ilm, we will learn that we do not control others. We only have control over ourselves. What are you doing in Jamaat Khana matters, not what others are doing. No one has made you or me a judge of them. We are not. So let's not worry about that. As we enter the Jamaat Khana, Imam who is Wakul Shain, and with him, the Noor Ilahi is present. Niyaz or no Niyaz, weekdays or weekend, Friday or Chandrat, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Imam and his Noor is always present in Jamaskana. And when and how do we know then? Otherwise, we will never say, Hazinda. Yali Madad, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Inshallah, we will see you next week. Yali Madad. 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 Yali Mad